Okay, second of our midges on these, this straight shank hook. It's one I don't use a lot anymore, but it's, it is a variant on the diamond midge uh, that was taught to me by Charlotte Dan. She called it her redneck midge, Charlotte's redneck midge, and a very good fly in bright conditions. Start off with a 7 alt red thread, 900 BL hook, and a Spirit River Bright Bead. And it's a variant on the Diamond Midge, um, which dates back to the Midge Magic book. Okay, now we've got some Firefly. You'll see this added, very bright, shiny. Good material for this. A lot easier to work with than some of the other tinsels. Don't start it too far. Now, next element, and I just had it in my hand one second ago, and now I've seemed to have lost it. Ah, now, a tidy tying disc really helps. Someone can come and organise one for me one day. Okay, now, Charlotte used to use Danville. I tend to switch over to the pretty much the UTC threads, Mopsy. And just bind both of these down. Both your materials are nice and even with a 7 old thread down to the barb and back to the head. One trick I used to get into this having both materials taped and bound down just gives you a nice even body. Cut them off both about the same length. Okay. And it is a spirit of a bright bead on the tip. Take your firefly. And just start wrapping. Use a little bit of tension on it. Don't want to try and pull it out too much, like when you're pulling a thread from this firefly. It has a little bit of embossing to it, which I think is kind of nice too. It's not a totally flat, totally flat material. Sorry, you, uh, I just belted the camera there. Eventually I'll get used to that. I tied so many of these over the years. Funnily enough, I don't fish it as much anymore, and I've been thinking I need to start doing it again. Now that is exactly what you don't want to do, so one good tip keep that tension on because otherwise it's just going to spring apart and I think our body has got some gaps to it. Okay, take it off and start again. One thing with these tying videos, that is Sometimes I've got to say it's handy to see the mistakes, so I don't really like making them, but guess what? You're going to do that a bunch of times. Up to the head, nice even body. I want to make sure you lock this down pretty well. Okay. Alright, trim off our firefly. Just bind this down. Now, one of the real no, really nice properties about this thread is it has a tendency you can lay it flat, as I'm endeavouring to do here, not have too much twist in it, so you get a nice flat effect, or you can rib it, spin it. It's not too bad for a guy who hasn't tied one in a long time. Now that Wopsy thread, you can either spin it tight, a round little thread. Now I got away with a little something there. This fly is really important not to let that tension let that tension go. If you do, that firefly is going to spring off and go everywhere. Okay, build up a little red throat on this fly. 
see what finishes. Okay, everything looks decent at the back. I have to carry around to check that. Sprung up my wood finish. Okay, nice little red collar on it. There you go. Charlotte's redneck midge. Let's see if I can get this little focused a little better. This one is a little bit better. There you go. Charlotte's redneck midge. 